Hello and welcome to the Potential Difference uh, Research Lab. Uh, today we are going to um, perform uh, a definitive demonstration to prove the claims of infinite efficiency and energy creation. So we have a request here uh, to perform um, some tests regarding the um, different performance of a conventional electric generator and a regenex generator uh, under load. And uh, the request calls for uh, a physical uh, replacement of the Regenex generator with a conventional generator. And the beauty of uh, the prototype that we have right here is that it has a conventional generator coil in it and uh, we're going to supply uh, electric power to the load and it has uh, two Regen X generator coils and we're going to use those to um, to override the uh, conventional generators counter electromagnetic torque and its uh, deceleration of the system so when the conventional generator is placed on load it's going to decelerate the system our prime mover which is here uh, our prime mover uh, consumption on the power analyzer uh, prime mover consumption is going to increase when the conventional generator coil is placed on load and the when the regen x generator coil is placed on load the power consumption of the prime mover is going to be less than what was required to establish rotational equilibrium at no load on idle so at rotational equilibrium the the power in the drive shaft is the torque times the speed and at rotational equilibrium the net power the sorry the net torque is zero and therefore the power in the drive shaft at rotational equilibrium is zero so if we look at the criteria of demonstration one it calls for a setup of a conventional ac or dc motor in this case we're using ac and a ac AC or DC generator, and in this case, uh, it's an AC generator connected to a load uh, with power meters that clearly indicate the the imp the power consumption of the prime mover and the output power produced by, by the the generator across the load. So. Um, these two meters here will be showing the power that's delivered by the conventional generator uh, across the load and we'll be able to observe the uh, input power consumption increase to the prime mover on the power analyzer here and uh, uh, when the Regenex generator coil is placed on load, we will be able to observe infinite efficiency electricity generation when the, when the power to the uh, prime mover becomes less than what was required to establish no load at rotational equilibrium. If the input power to the Regenex generator uh, 
does not increase when it's placed on load or is less than what was required on no load, then that's the definition of infinite efficiency electricity generation, and that will be obvious. And energy creation uh, will be observed when the um, kinetic energy of the system, um, well, when the kinetic energy of the system uh, decelerates, uh, electromagnetic field energy is being created in order to perform the negative work and then um, electromagnetic field energy around the regenerative coils uh, will be uh, created and it will be used to perform positive work. So um, let's fire up the generator and see what happens. step is to bring the system up to um, rotational equilibrium and at rotational equilibrium at rotational equilibrium uh, according to Newton's first law, additional angular acceleration or a speed increase cannot be achieved unless external uh, energy is supplied to the system. In fact, when Newton's first law, first law and the work energy principle is applied to the conventional generator's operation. And we observe that negative work is being performed, uh, created electromagnetic field energy is responsible for the negative work as well. So currently our system is operating on no load, at rotational equilibrium, and we are going to demonstrate the conventional generator and we're also going to demonstrate negative work which is being performed by created electromagnetic field energy and in the description box I'll put a the video which explains how uh, electromagnetic field energy is created inside all current bearing wires and uh, how that energy performs negative work in conventional generators. Okay, we'll place it on load now. Okay, so our conventional generator is on load right now. We are delivering ten point six five volts. So we're delivering nine point six nine. Uh, watts to our load and our prime mover consumption has increased to 188 watts from a no load 
rotational equilibrium condition of 168 watts. So we'll place it on load again. Pay attention to the consumption by the prime mover. Right now it's 169 watts. So the conventional generator coil is delivering almost 10 watts to the load and the input power consumption to the prime mover has increased by about 20 watts. So uh, now I'm going to place the Regenx generator coil on load and on the oscilloscope you can see the load current sine wave for the Regen X, or sorry, the conventional generator coil. And when I place the Regen X generator coil on load, the input power consumption to the prime mover will drop to a value that is less than the uh, no load condition of 100. 69 watts. So now we are delivering So now we're delivering 11.1 watts to our load, to our light bulb, and our prime mover is consuming less power on load with the Regen X system than was required at no load, at idle, at rotational equilibrium. So right now, because the input to the prime mover is less than it was at idle on no load, the prime mover is actually supplying less mechanical power to the generator drive shaft than was required at idle on no load. So I'm going to put it back into the no load condition again, and then I'm going to try to synchronize the connection of the conventional coil and Regenx coil so you can see that the uh, prime mover power consumption literally obviously goes down instead of up. So we're at 168. 167, worst case scenario, 168 to our prime mover. Infinite efficiency electric generator operation would be observed if the, if power is delivered to the load, but the consumption of the prime mover doesn't go up. And, uh, Infinite efficiency is also observed if the consumption goes down. So once again, we're delivering 11 watts to our load. The power consumption of our prime mover has gone down which means that the electricity is being generated at infinite efficiency. We can see the load current sine wave for the Regen X coil in blue on the oscilloscope and the load current sine wave for the conventional coil on the oscilloscope. And uh, so um, 
now I'm going to place the, the second Regenerous Coil on load. Now we're delivering 11.73 volts across our load. We're delivering 11.14 watts across our load. And our uh, prime mover power consumption is down to 161 watts. So approximately eight, um, an eight watt uh, prime mover power consumption decrease, and uh, with uh, a little over 11 watts of uh, electricity generation to our load. So currently the speed of our system is 3,501 RPM. I'm going to place the conventional uh, generator coil on load and I'm going to measure the uh, speed again. So the speed right now on conventional generator loading is 3,481 RPM. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate the kinetic energy decrease of the system. And I'll put that in the description box. The kinetic, according to the work energy principle, the kinetic energy decrease of this system is equal to the work performed on the system, which is equal to the energy required to perform that work. And because we're not supplying any ener external energy in order to uh, perform negative work and decelerate the system, the energy has to come from somewhere and it's being created um, at the subatomic quantum electron level inside the current bearing wires and it's being manifested around the conventional generator coil as an electromagnetic field energy which is performing the negative work. So now we'll look at the positive work that's being performed by the regen X coils so that we can convert that to a kinetic energy increase. With one region X coil, the, the speed of the system is 3,505 RPM. And with two Regenx coils, the speed is 
speed is 3,509 RPM. And without the conventional generator coil, Without the conventional coil, it's 3523 uh, RPM, and with nothing on the system, the initial kinetic, the initial rotational kinetic energy at uh, 3500 no load speed is 3501 RPM. So again in the description box I will calculate the rotational kinetic energy of the system on no load and then with the conventional generator and then the Regenx generator and we will be able to um, determine the magnitude of work that's being performed. The magnitude, the magnitude of negative work that's being performed by the conventional generator and the magnitude of energy that's created in order to perform that work. And then the magnitude of uh, electromagnetic field energy that is being created in order to perform the positive work and we will uh, satisfy the initial requirement of infinite efficiency electricity generation with no uh, additional power consumption from the prime mover when it's placed on load and electricity or sorry, energy creation with uh, with the energy that's created and required to per perform the negative work in the conventional generator and the energy that's required that is created in order to perform the positive work. So Okay, so the demonstration two is essentially the difference between a Regenx generator and the conventional generator and uh, the requirement for the Regenx generator is that the input power should be, uh, should fall to zero. So that condition has been met because at rotational equilibrium, the input power to the generator, which is the mechanical input power on no load at rotational equilibrium, which is zero watts, the, when the Regenx generator is placed on load, the mechanical power in the drive shaft um, uh, actually is not increased by the prime mover, but instead it's increased by the Regenx generator. So um, essentially the, the input power to the generator um, on load uh, should be zero, but in fact it's, um, it's a negative number, it's, it's, it's less than zero, and so uh, we've, we have um, satisfied the criteria of demonstration number one and demonstration number two. And um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to run prototype number two 
which is in the back there. And I'm going to basically perform the same tests and we are going to um, operate the system in RegenX mode and uh, we're going to operate the system in conventional mode. And um, we'll be able to observe the differences there as well. So thanks for viewing and cheers for now.